you see a flashing yellow traffic signal at an upcoming intersection. The flashing yellow light means A. Stop before entering the intersection. B. Stop and proceed when you see it is safe. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. Answer, C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. A pedestrian starts to cross the street after the don't walk signal begins to flash. The pedestrian is in the middle of the street when your signal light changes to green. You should A. Proceed if you have the right of way. B. Proceed if the pedestrian is not in your lane. C. Wait until the pedestrian crosses the street. Answer, C. Wait until the pedestrian crosses the street. You drive defensively when you A. Always put one car length between you and the car ahead. B. Look only at the car in front of you while driving. C. Keep your eyes moving to look for possible hazards. Answer, C. Keep your eyes moving to look for possible hazards. When merging onto a freeway, you should be driving a. At or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway. b. 5 to 10 miles per hour slower than the traffic on the freeway. c. The posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway. Answer a. At or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway. You may drive off of the paved roadway to pass another vehicle. A. If the shoulder is wide enough to accommodate your vehicle. B. If the vehicle ahead of you is turning left. C. Under no circumstances. Answer. C. Under no circumstances. When making a right turn at an intersection with a red traffic light, you should. A. Slow down and check for traffic. B. Come to a complete stop check for traffic and pedestrians, and proceed when it is safe. C. Slow down, check for traffic and pedestrians, and proceed. Answer B. Come to a complete stop, check for traffic and pedestrians, and proceed when it is safe. When parking your vehicle on any hill. A. Your front wheels should be turned toward the street. B. One of your rear wheels should touch the curb. C. Your front wheels should be turned into the curb or toward the side of the road. Answer. C. Your front wheels should be turned into the curb or toward the side of the road. If you plan to pass another vehicle, you should. A. Assume the other driver will maintain a constant speed. B. Assume the other driver will let you pass if you use your turn signal. C. Not assume the other driver will make space for you to return to your lane. Answer. C. Not assume the other driver will make space for you to return to your lane. If you are driving and you need to use your cell phone, you should. A. Stop in a safe place and then make the call. B. Use a hands-free device. C. Use the speakerphone function. Answer A. Stop in a safe place and then make the call. You may cross double yellow lines to pass another vehicle if the A. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. B. Yellow line next to the other side of the road is broken. C. Lines are double solid yellow. Answer A. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. You are driving on a freeway and the traffic is merging into your lane. You should A. Always slow down to allow traffic to merge. B. Make room for the merging traffic, if possible. C. Assert your right of way and maintain your speed. Answer B. Make room for the merging traffic, if possible. When parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street. A. Your front wheels must be turned toward the street. B. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. C. One of your rear wheels must touch the curb. Answer. 
B. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. A large truck is ahead of you and is turning right onto a street with two lanes in each direction. The truck. A. May complete its turn in either of the two lanes. B. May have to swing wide to complete the right turn. C. Must stay in the right lane at all times. Answer. B. May have to swing wide to complete the right turn. You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. A. At all times. B. Unless you do not see any children present. C. Only during school hours. Answer A. At all times. When driving at night on a dimly lit street, you should. A. Drive slowly enough so you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. B. Turn on your high beam headlights to better see the vehicles ahead of you. C. Keep the instrument panel lights bright to be more visible to other drivers. Answer A. Drive slowly enough so you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. Which of the following increases your chances of having an accident? A. Continually changing lanes to pass other vehicles. B. Adjusting your rearview mirror before you start driving. C. Looking in your side mirrors while driving. Answer A. Continually changing lanes to pass other vehicles. You are driving on the freeway behind a large truck. You should drive. A. Closer behind the truck than for a passenger vehicle. B. Farther behind the truck than for a passenger vehicle. C. To the right side of the truck and wait to pass. Answer. B. Farther behind the truck than for a passenger vehicle. You are approaching an intersection at the posted speed limit when the signal light turns yellow. You should. A. Slow down and proceed through the intersection without caution. B. Stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. C. Speed up to cross the intersection before the light turns red. Answer. B. Stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. If you are convicted for driving under the influence, DUI, your insurance may be A. Cancelled B. Increased C. Reduced Answer. B. Increased You are about to make a left turn. You must signal continuously during the last feet before the turn. A. 50 B. 75 C. 100 Answer. C. 100 If you are caught driving with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, at or above the legal limit. A. You may be fined by the court. B. Your driver license will automatically be revoked. C. Your vehicle will be confiscated. Answer A. You may be fined by the court. A white painted curb means A. Loading zone for freight or passengers. B. Loading zone for passengers or mail only. C. Loading zone for freight only. Answer B. Loading zone for passengers or mail only. You are getting ready to make a right turn. You should. A. Stop before entering the right lane and let all traffic pass. B. Slow down or stop, if necessary, and then make the turn. C. Signal and turn immediately. Answer. B. Slow down or stop, if necessary, and then make the turn. You should use your horn. A. To alert another driver who might turn in front of you. B. Whenever it is legal and you think it could prevent a collision. C. Whenever you are angry with another driver. Answer. B. Whenever it is legal and you think it could prevent a collision. Two sets of solid double yellow lines spaced two or more feet apart. A. May be crossed to enter or exit a driveway. 
B should be treated as a separate traffic lane. C may not be crossed for any reason. Answer, C may not be crossed for any reason. You may legally park your car. A, at a corner in an intersection. B, in a bicycle lane if there is no sign forbidding it. C, in front of a private driveway. Answer, B, in a bicycle lane if there is no sign forbidding it. California's basic speed law says you must. A. Never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. B. Always drive at the posted speed limit. C. Keep your speed close to that of other traffic. Answer A. Never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. You may drive in a bike lane. A. If you drive slower than 15 miles per hour. B. No more than 200 feet before making a right turn. C. Whenever bicyclists are not present. Answer. B. No more than 200 feet before making a right turn. A double solid yellow line in the center of the road means that. A. Traffic can go in only one direction. B. Passing is not allowed on either side. C. All traffic must stop at the line. Answer. B. Passing is not allowed on either side. If you are driving slower than the other traffic on a multi-lane highway, you should use A. The shoulder B. A middle lane C. The rightmost lane Answer. C. The rightmost lane